Okay, so basically the setup on these two is very, very similar. So I just made the same sort of size there. The green and the red light now sort of representing that kind of pane of glass that we talked about, okay? So left-hand one now as you go back, not too bad there. The club's kind of working a bit, we call outside the hands and a bit sort of what we call picky up, sort of lifting up, not returning your body that much with your right shoulder, right hip. Then as we get to the top of the batch, and now almost you start, exactly, you start rising up. The arm, now you've gone through the pane of glass, your hands have sort of hit that pane of glass there. Now, now you talk about rotating on the way down. Now the hands are through the glass, the club's through the glass. And if there was a glass there, it's just shut into lots of millions of little pieces, okay? And then obviously the club then is gonna be coming outside across the line, swinging this way, weakens the shot, and it's gonna be very steep into the golf ball, okay? So, and especially this time of year now when the ground's a bit soft, the last thing we're just coming down too steep. So using that green line there as a, oh, sorry, there we go. Using that green line there, you can see as the club starts going back, your right shoulder now turning a bit more behind your head. Underneath that pane of glass, your right elbow now is more level with your right shoulder, which is great. As you start coming back down, you're underneath that green line. The club there just clips it a little bit. But this is again 10 minutes of practice, to be fair, so mm -hmm. we'll give you some leeway there. Underneath the green line. Now, this probably feels when you're doing this miles underneath it, okay? Because you're just underneath it there. At least coming back down, still underneath it. The club now we can see is coming more from this direction, as opposed to if we look at this next one here now, where the club is the next frame there it's a bit of a blur there but the club is way out there mm. and just look at the difference if i just clear all these lines around the pane of glass just look at the difference in your arms relative to your body the one on the left is arms are way out in front of you okay these ones here now more kind of underneath these ones here kind of more out in front of you there as you say coming across so this club now is coming in on a more shallow angle nice strike of the ball there and release through and now with the club face being a lot straighter the ball's not going to just disappear off to the right. This one here, now the club, as we can see, coming outside. And because you come outside the line, you hit the hose of the club and the ball shoots off to the left, to the right there. as kind of that shank thing to the ball, so just hitting over here somewhere. And yeah, I mean, the follow-through is always going to look fairly standard anyway, mm. but how you got to that follow-through position is going to be different, OK? So, so feel like that club swinging underneath that pane of glass, hitting the wall and staying on that wall behind you, OK? Keeping it lower, shallower, flatter, and that's going to help that club come in much more on a more positive, more neutral, more efficient angle. And I think in terms of practice, I think visually, think about that pane of glass. Mm. Practice up against that wall there with that club. The one-handed swings, I just think, makes sense to you. Sometimes, actually one of the simplest drills I got some people to do before is actually get a tennis racket and a tennis ball and just hit some shots towards the wall. Just think how you would hit a racket, a tennis ball, to hit the wall dead straight to come back to you. You wouldn't want to stand there. If I was hitting towards this wall and go out here and chop across it, would you? If I was going to try and hit that ball to the wall and it's come back to me, I'm going to go... And my arms are going to just generally swing on a kind of... Almost like a fairly neutral, just a gentle kind of curved plane there rather than coming out across here. It wouldn't make sense to swing the racket over here to try and hit a ball into the screen there so it comes back towards me, yeah? Mm. So I think if you do some videos you sent to the, the side of your house, you've got a wall there, maybe you could just, just, if you've got a tennis racket, I don't know, maybe get access one if you wanted to, just stand there, don't have to hit them hard, just to just stand back and doom, then you almost catch it and come back to you, okay? Doom, just get used to that kind of, how that racket's gonna come more from this way as opposed from outside that way, okay? I think when you said, oh, I need to turn more, the yeah. problem is when you turn more, I don't see, I don't, again, so I say it's now, there's, there must have been the odd occasion, I suppose. I don't really see any issues in your single twist. You're not going to twist through the ball. So worrying about twisting through, I would say it, more so the twist on the way back. Yeah, I was probably turning even almost before I hit the ball. Oh yeah, yeah. Like I've got yeah, to follow yeah, yeah. through. Yeah. So even before I was sort of coming. I mean, if you think about it, I mean. It, it, I mean, you'd be seeing a chiropractor if you don't follow through or twist your body. The speed you're swinging the golf club, if your club's wishing up here at the speed it's swinging, to keep your torso facing down to the golf ball there, I mean, yeah, you'd be in some serious pain physically in your back. So I think to turn through, I would say most people generally don't turn well enough on the way back, whether it's because they're a bit stiff, haven't warmed up, nervous, difficult hole, pressure, mm, yeah. all these things. But turning through the ball, people do it with abundance. Most of the time, too much. That's why they come across the ball and slice it left to right, or pull it left, or hit a weak shot. One of the three. Yeah. So you're underneath that pane of glass, swinging that club a little bit lower and flatter, so that is working a bit more around and underneath. 
just change the way that the club's gonna come in the goal for. So as you start coming down, you see the hands now sort of more in front of your torso there. Whereas this one here now, your hands sort of further over. So just that, that difference there, the hands there very much sort of underneath your head, where this one they're sort of more back yeah mm -hmm. it's just behind you a little bit more yeah it's this right shoulder yeah that needs um yeah i mean if you look at if you look at you look at the golf club there that one is says almost vertical this one now is sort of online with the golf ball mm -hmm. there yeah so okay okay excellent thank you good stuff pleasure as always